Welcome to News 24's election coverage for 2019. I'm joined in our Auckland Park studios by News 24's elections analyst Davi Scholes. Davi, welcome to Auckland Park. Thanks it's for joining us. Here. Davi, how excited are you on a scale from 1 to 10 uh, about these elections? 75. <laughs> Davi, you're going to be analyzing the elections for us. Uh, how will you be doing it? And are there ways to make an exact prediction on the night about what the exact numbers will be the following day? Yes, there is. So, so that's what uh, it's a very exciting project that uh, we've been working on and that I'll, I'll be working for you guys on. Um, so th there's no way to make a prediction now that is exact and 100% scientific. So pollsters do a lot of polling and yes. so on. But on the night, there is a way to make a, a, a forecast of what the election result will be. Um, and it's, it's actually quite simple. Um, what, what the model that we've built does is we've looked at the full electorate of roughly 26.7 Let's just let me interrupt people. you there. Yeah, Sorry, sure. Dobby. No, you've no, built no. a model for News24, uh -huh. a, a model based on historical trends, patterns, historical numbers, and, uh, and, and we, you're going to be using that on the night to try and predict where we might end up. Exactly, to project the election result. Um, and the way we've done that is to basically look at the full electorate, 26.7 million people, um, and we've kind of broken up the electorate into yes. homogenous pools, right? So where we know people vote roughly the same, we've kind of categorized them into these homogenous pools. And then on election night, as results start coming in, um, we will essentially start getting samples within these homogenous pools um, to get a sense of what the trends are mm. within each of these homogenous pools where we know people typically vote the same. And when um, you, sorry, when you speak about samples, that's actual numbers yes. uh, that you get in from the IEC's results center. Yes, exactly. And of course, as the IEC reports more and more results, um, we'll have a larger and a larger sample of the electorate mm. from which to do a projection. Um, and then based on that, we will forecast the, the result um, on the voting, voting and turnout patterns that, that are emerging. So the, the model will look very closely at the extent to which people are turning out within each of these homogenous pools. Um, and then secondly, the voting pattern. So in what pattern are people voting for different parties yeah. within each of these homogenous pools? And a, a simple example, for example, is um, all of the townships in Gauteng, yeah. right? Uh, places like Soweto, Mamelodi, Attridgeville, and so on. Which should give you a very good indication of ANC support. Exactly, and they usually vote in roughly the same um, pattern. And once we have five or 10 or 15% of the votes reported from, from those areas, then we will have statistically a very good idea of what the overall result will be for all of those areas at the end of the day. It's very exciting, Dolly. It is very exciting. Uh, tell me, uh, 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 you've been in elections buff for a number of years. I mean, uh, what has been the most exciting election that you have covered in this country or overseas, or the most uh, uh, surprising result that you've seen? So there are two elections that I think are particularly memorable. The one is obviously the Donald Trump election, where I was in the US for that. Um, and what I think happened in, in that election, and which I think we in South Africa should be very cognizant of, is that everyone had a view of how many people would turn out roughly and what the shape of the electorate would be. So who would vote, how many of each of them would vote, and so on. Um, and what had happened was, because of Donald Trump's uh, popularity and his ability to excite his base, just way, way, way more conservative, rural, older people went to go vote in that election than anticipated, and that threw off all of these mathematical mm -hmm. models. So luckily the model we've built will adjust if something like that happens, and I think that's one important lesson for us is that turnout really matters. Yeah. Your decision as a voter to go and vote or not is actually a very, very meaningful decision. So that's, that's one very fascinating election. The other one, of course, is our own local government election in 2016, um, which I think was a, a, a really fascinating election, which was surprisingly bad for the ANC mm -hmm. and surprisingly mm -hmm. good for the, particularly the DA. Again, driven by a bit of a turnout surprise on the night. So the DA's voters turned out at really high level and the ANC's didn't. Um, and then also some inroads for the DA and the mm -hmm. EFF and the ANC and the kind of core black electorate for the ANC. Um, and I think the, the, the lessons that we can draw from both of those elections are that um, you know you need to be quite careful about these things mm. because you need to consider to what extent people will turn out, yeah, yeah. Um, and also be quite quite cognizant of voting patterns, not just historically but actually on the night. Your model needs to be able to dynamically adjust as those votes come in and read them intelligently. And your model takes into account previous election results. What what, what does what what are, what's all the data, the different data sets that you use that will inform these 24's uh, election model? So it will it will consist of um, primarily historic voting patterns and of course historic turnout patterns that that's data that's publicly available from everyone uh, at, the, at the IEC, um, and then to some extent also demographic data. So yeah. we've overlaid all of the voting stations in the country with demographic data to understand what the demographic um, uh, characteristics are of each voting station, mm. um, and that's the way we are able to form these kind of homogenous pools mm. within the electorate to understand how different people are looking. That's also why we can do analysis and say something mm. like, 
you know, uh, we can estimate that the black vote in a particular province is going this way or that way, or the white vote in a particular province is going this way or that way, because we've done this demographic analysis to understand each voting station at a demographic level. So when those results I come in, we can do a demographic um, analysis without, for example, having to do an exit yeah, poll. Yeah. Uh, we don't want to let the cat out of the bag too much, and we want uh, our viewers and our readers to, to follow your coverage and our coverage on the night. Uh, but we're going to have a very good idea come Wednesday or Thursday morning, rather, about how the wind will blow. Yes, I think we'll have, um, look, it depends on how quickly the IEC counts them, right? But we need 5 to 10% of the, of the votes to be in to be able to, I think, get a very distinct idea of uh, what the direction the election is going in. And, 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 and just as, a, as an aside, you know, we've been very lucky in this country that we've had five general elections which have been undisputed and we've, we're very lucky with, uh, with the organizational skills and level of organization that the IC has. Absolutely. I think, I think the IC should be commended for firstly having excellent databases and, and really maintaining their databases at a very professional level. Um, ha having it be fully publicly accessible so anyone could, for example, just analyze the results if mm. they wanted to and mm. draw the results. Um, and actually also for the, the way that they re report the results very transparently and quickly um, on election night. Um, at, I think it's a, it's a, it's a great um, it's a great gift to the, to the country and to our democracy. Davi, you've built this model. Uh, News24 is going to use it during this election. Are you excited to test drive it? Uh, you, you've test driven it a couple of times, but <laughs> excited to, 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 to launch the ship on, on, on Wednesday? Very, very excited. Um, and I think uh, it will be a fascinating election night for our viewers and for us um, from about 11 p.m. 12, 12 p.m. on, on election night, we'll start seeing very interesting, uh, very interesting results and very interesting analysis. Thank you, Darby. See you at the Results Operational Center. Looking forward to it. Follow News 24 on the 8th, 9th, and the 10th of May, where we will tell you who won, by how much they won, and why they won.